Purchases are probably the most common thing that will be brought up when people talk about Honkai. Because the informations on all the herches are scattered everywhere, I think it would be appropriate to take all the information available and condense it into a video that people can enjoy. In this video, I will give you the informations we have on all the herches going in order. Looking at their powers, the people who became the herches, the actions they committed, and their importance to the plot. Herches are labeled in order of appearance based on previous era records, with a few exceptions that I will talk about. So starting from the Hershey of Reason, which has three characters we can talk about, all of them are from the current world. The power of the first Hershey is Minecraft Creative Mode, able to construct anything the person understands. A perfect power for a nerd, which is what describes the people who became this Hershey pretty well, the first person is Will Joyce. Although Hershey's are supposed to enact the Honkai's goal of destroying humanity, this Hershey with the power of reason decided that following the Honkai is stupid, and so broke free from the Honkai and became the first Hersher to do so. In his time, he involuntarily destroyed Berlin, got captured by Shiksel, got sent to Shiksel NA, befriended the people in that branch, helped that branch secede from Shiksel becoming anti-entropy, punched Otto in the face, and died defending New York from Shiksel. In his dying moments, he passed on his name along with the Hersher core to Joachim Nokian Virtanen. He became Wild Yang, the second Hersher of Reason. He fought Sylvan to the nails during second eruption, taught Himiko during her teenage year, went undercover as a teacher at Saint Freya, allowing the events of AE invasion to happen, got stuck in the Sea of Quanta, created obstacles for Ronya to go through in her trip into the Sea of Quanta. After getting out of that place, he currently acts as the leader of Anti-Entropy, and as Bronya's mentor after giving his call to her, making Bronya become the third Hersher of Reason. If we count Poson Kai Odyssey, Weld also got kidnapped into helping the first Divine Key stop an alien invasion. See my video on Poson Kai Odyssey for more details. Next on the list is arguably the most important Hersher, the Hersher of the Void. This Hersher can manipulate space and time. This power is pretty flexible, by which I mean that it's whatever Mihoyo can think of really. But the most important one is using this power to transport stuff through different dimensions. This power was used to either trap like in the case of Siegfried, or to rescue like with Fuhua in Chapter 22. Sirin was the person who became the first Hersher of the Void in current era 2000. She started the events of Second Eruption, read that manga for more details. Anyway, at the end, she died. Her core was put into a clone made from the genetics of Sirin and Kiana, courtesy of Otto. This clone, named K423, became the second Hersher of the Void. As we know, K423 is the heroine of this game that calls herself Kiana Kislana. I'm sure we are well aware of everything she did in the story, so I'm moving on. The third Hersher is yet another Hersher that broke free from the will of Honkai. And I would like to say, if the Honkai create Hershers to better destroy humans, then it's really not doing a great job at it. Just look at the current era Hersher of Thunder for example. Raiden Mei somehow literally had her Hersher personality fall for Kiana. And I'm not sure if it's just that Kiana is that good at making girls fall for her, although now that I think about it, that might actually be true. Anyways, the Hersher personality ceased to exist after Mei became the Hersher of Thunder again again during chapter 17, so now she is 100% in control of her body. The fourth Hersher, Wendy, is the Hersher of the Wind. Not much is known about her, but she showed signs of being able to break free from the Honkai. Unfortunately, that was interrupted and she was subsequently killed by Kokolia during chapter 3. The fifth Hersher is yet another Hersher that was almost able to break away from the Honkai. Anna Shariak, the Hersher of Ice, is special in the sense of being the first of their kind to become a new type of Hersher never before seen. This new type of Hersher is created by fusing many different cores together. There were only two cases of this happening. The first in this case is the Hersher of Rhyme Star, and the other recent one is the Hersher of Flame Scion from Chapter 25. The sixth Hersher, the Hersher of Death, has never appeared yet in the current era. A common speculation is that it's going to be Sele, considering that she not only looks like this Hersher, but also have the same stigma of this Hersher. The power this Hersher have is being able to heal or destroy things on a molecular level. We see this in action from the Gem of Serenity and the Divine Key made from the core of this Hersher, the Abyss Flower. They can disintegrate anything with a corrosive form and can heal or revive people like that time when Sirin got stabbed by Teresa during second eruption. 
Now for the rest of the Hershey's coming up, we actually have a lot more info from previous era accounts. Starting from the 7th, which is the Hershey of Fire. This Hershey haven't appeared yet in the current era, but the previous era Hershey of Fire is super important to the character of Fuhua. Her name is Himeko, which is not to be confused with Murata Himeko. This Himeko is often mentioned as Captain Himeko to avoid confusion with the current era Himeko. Captain Himeko was in the moth fighting against the Honkai. She saved Fuhua and became her mentor, but seemingly got corrupted for unknown reasons. Fuhua questioned this in the Divine Key manga, which made this an unresolved plot point that I would like Mihoyo to do something about in the future. Next on the list is the 8th Hersher. This Hersher has the power of mind manipulation, able to create illusions and unending dreams. This previous era Hersher applied this into the form of censorship if you thought today's censorship isn't bad enough. If you were to read a single censored word, you would get divine punishment and get sent into a coma. This power seems really overpowered that it would be a major problem if this Hersher were to appear in the current era, but luckily we got this Hersher in the form of little sentience. Now, to describe Little Sentience, she's basically a child throwing a temper tantrum for attention. She's not under the Honkai, she's got Fuhua memories, but mentally she's still a newborn. A highly dangerous newborn, that is. She luckily used her power to persuade Kiana and Bronya into trusting her. And I want to stress that she could have just mind manipulate them into trusting her like what a smart person would do. Instead, she showed them her stories and gave them the chance to decide which Fuhua they preferred. This Hersher is technically not dead, still in Fuhua's mind, somewhere, which I would like Mihoyo to give her a closure to. The ninth Hersher goes by many names. It's either the Hersher of Earth, Rock, or Star. This Hersher has the power of gravity, able to create black holes to cause massive destruction. The previous era, ninth Hersher was said to have had wiped an entire continent with a black hole. However, this Hersher in the current era didn't do much because the person who became the Hersher, the Road Serpent Officer Owl, fused with the Hersher of Ice to create the Hersher of Rhyme Star, and Rhyme Star was defeated in the span of a single stage. This Hersher is relatively unimportant, unlike the last few Hershers. The 10th Hersher recently appeared in the latest story arc, being the Hersher of Domination. This Hersher is a hive mind, with each individual who is the Hersher being really weak, but their power comes from their ability to perform highly coordinated attacks against humans. The current era 10th Hersher we saw in the latest chapter was actually more advanced than the previous era one, opting to sneak attack and stir up confusion rather than attacking head on like what this Hersher did in the past. The power of this Hersher also allows it to take away other people's power and use it, like how it stole Bronya's power in chapter 23. The 11th Hersher is the Hersher of Binding. This Hersher can manipulate energy flow, historically use this power to create a field that prevents any uses of Honkai powers in it. We can see this power in action in Second Eruption, where in that battle, Teresa was able to temporarily revert Siren back into her human form using the Oath of Judah, the divine key made from the 11th Hersher core. The previous era 11th Hersher was mentioned a lot in Elysian Realm, being the prelude to the formation of the Flame Chasers. This Hersher pushed the previous era humanity into further desperation after what was said of the massive losses in that battle. Because this Hersher has not appeared yet in the current era, we are left waiting to see how different would this Hersher be if it were to show up. The 12th Hersher is the Hersher of Corruption, a sentient virus that can infect and control anything, including electronics. The previous era 12th Hersher was Sakura's little sister. And I'm talking about the previous era Sakura here. Her little sister, Ren, even though she's the Hersher, she still remained human and didn't hurt anyone. Sadly, she couldn't have come at any worse time than after the previous era humanity suffered grievously against the 11th Hersher. Rin was imprisoned and later slain in the name of protecting humanity. More tragedy would befall the previous era as the power within her was released upon her death. The virus infected everything in the base she was kept in and that base contains nuclear weapons. Those nuclear weapons were fired at the last few remaining human cities, wiping them out. This puts the previous era humanity on its last leg. Luckily, the Hersher was somehow contained in a black box that became the centerpiece of Kalen's story. The black box, initially found by Shikso, was taken away to the far east by Kalen on the chance of stowing whatever's in that box away. That box eventually found its way to Yei Sakura, the current era Sakura. She resonated with the black box and so became the current era 12th Hersher. She was eventually sealed away by Kalen. 
The 13th Hersher is the only Hersher we have no info on, like literally zero. I recently saw some speculation about Elysia possibly being this Hersher, but that's a topic for another video. If you want me to talk about it, then you can tell me in the comments below. Now, we reach the last Hersher. The Hersher of the End, better known as the 14th Hersher or the Final Hersher, is the ultimate final boss of humanity. We don't know how this Hersher's power work, but the bottom line is that she's overpowered. This Hersher was the last nail in the coffin for the previous era. The looks of this Hersher is based off God Kiana's design from GGC. We don't know whether this Hersher is actually a previous era Kiana or not, but from what we see, she looks very much like her. This led many people to believe that the real Kiana would probably come out sometime in the future as the Hersher of the end, though it's still speculation. We can clearly see that there is a difference between the Hersher of the previous and the current era, like the evolving characteristics of each Hersher, the order in which they appear, and the never before seen types of Hersher, like Rhyme Star and Flame Scion. So, with this knowledge, we can use this to form our own expectation on the Hersher that's yet to come, all while keeping in mind that any future Hersher may have some traits never before seen in the past. So that's it for today. What are your favorite Hershers? Let me know down below in the comments. Until then, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and have a great day.